when my when I was going yeah. through my shots, it was just brutal. It was just. <laughs> You're so lucky you don't have to do them. I wish you had to do them sometimes. I, I would, wish I would do it for you. So I think I figured out the trick to getting Emma to nap longer. Good morning, by the way. I was uh, totally caught up in it, but I think I just figured out a trick to getting Emma to take longer naps. And I think that the reason, and this is so weird, but I think that the reason she was only taking these 30 minute naps last week, like for hours and hours, is because I stopped putting her in her sleep sack, which is this like nested bean sleep sack that we got. And she has been not sleeping well. So yesterday and today I put her in it and she's taking two hour and a half long naps. So it might just be that she wants her sleep sack on, which I'm totally fine with. So I'm putting her in it again today and hoping that she naps really, really good so I have more time to get stuff done because 30 minute naps are not enough for me to get anything done in this house. Um, but now an hour and a half is like so much time to get stuff done. So I've been cleaning all morning, which is so nice. The only thing I have left to do is the dishes, which is my least favorite chore, as you guys know, and the vacuum, but I don't have to vacuum vacuum today because I am gonna use this. <laughs> I'm so excited to share this with you guys. So this is the Robo Rock, which is a robot vacuum that cleans for us all downstairs, which has been so amazing because as you guys know, we have not one dog, but a dog, a cat, and a baby and it's really hard to not just find the time to vacuum every single day with this much pet hair but it really gets old having to vacuum literally every single day so I'm gonna show you guys kind of what it does and what my favorite features of this vacuum are I am really excited to have been using this for the last week or two because it has been a game changer when it comes to cleaning this house so we've actually been keeping this thing downstairs but we could put it upstairs if we wanted to too because it works on both tile carpet and has detection to tell when it's on tile or carpet it. So we have as you guys know we have lots of rugs and we even have this little play area for Emma Which is quite a big like little bump up including this carpet and it can detect when there's carpet when there's tile and go over it Which is really cool so we can use it downstairs is where we really need it But we can put it upstairs too because it has a like sensor on it with a bumper So it won't fall down the stairs which is amazing because that would probably be a really big bummer if it did But it knows when there's stairs it has like a little bumper right here. I don't know if you guys can see so if it bumps into something, it just changes its direction, which is really, really cool. Um, it is seriously a game changer, I know I already said that, but about cleaning this house. like. It has picked up so much. Let me see if I can show you the dustbin. Okay, this is actually embarrassing to show you guys how much dog hair it has picked up in the last day. So, I am going to go empty this out. But look at how good of a job this thing does. Oh my gosh, I'm like shook right now. One of the best things though is that it can actually hook up to your smartphone, which I already did. We named ours Halpert from Jim Halpert from the office. Um, and you can get a map of your home. And my favorite thing is that you can schedule a cleaning. So there's an option in here to schedule like a daily clean. So we have ours to go off every night at 10.30 at night. And the reason we do that is because Bo is scared of <laughs> the vacuum. And so in the middle of the night, he's in the room with us sleeping and he doesn't have to worry about it but it's been amazing because it's just in the middle of the night we don't have to worry about it I wake up and the downstairs is all vacuumed and clean and free of dog hair so that Emma's not gonna be crawling around putting dog hair in her mouth see he's kind of he's unsure of it still but we love it we love Halpert it has been such an amazing home thing so you guys should go check it out I will leave all of the description and or the information in the description box below so you guys can go get one they are like seriously game changer I don't know what else to say like I come downstairs, the house is clean, it's tidy, it's perfect. If I just tidy up the house, I can have this go in the middle of the night and then when I wake up, the house is ready to go. It even leaves like the carpet lines on the carpet that like everyone, I don't know, if you're like me, loves that kind of like clean look. So make sure you guys go check out the Robo Rock. All the information will be in the description box below. One more thing I forgot to mention, it actually goes back to its charging base, which ours is over there on its own when it runs out of battery and you can hook it up to Amazon Alexa, even better. So while Rochelle is out doing some shopping this morning, I, since I have some time finally, am going to start on Emma's, uh, uh, shoot, I forget what it's called, Pickler, tri Pickler Triangle. Um, I'm gonna start cutting her dowels down just cause I'm waiting on a couple tools to come in before I can get uh, the frames assembled. But right now I can cut these triangles. 
So I'm gonna get take uh, get that taken care of right now. So the dowels are all cut, so that should be good to go. And then this drill press that Rochelle got me is gonna come in so handy for getting these holes drilled into the frames once I get the frames built. But like I said, I gotta wait on some tools to come in for that. I wanna make sure I get my angles right. And then this guy is gonna be my finisher. I'm honestly really excited to make this for Emma. I think this is probably gonna be my biggest project so far. So I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm excited to see how well I do. And hopefully it comes out as expected. That usually doesn't happen with projects though, but I'm hoping that it comes out good. Uh, I just got home from grocery shopping and I get home and the one thing that Justin asked me to grab, I forgot it. So. I didn't want to go all the way back because I actually went to Ralph's today, which is like all the way across town from where we live. It's pretty far. It's pretty good deals though. I was actually impressed. Um, so I'm just going to CVS to grab some toilet paper real quick. It's pretty important. So I told Justin I'd grab it. I forgot. I got to get that. Don't worry, babe. I got you. There was one more thing I was going to look for in the vitamin section while I'm here, but it doesn't look like they have what I was looking for anyways. Dang it. I told Justin I'd back home oh crap shut the freeze on the door i told justin i'd hurry back home so i'm not gonna get too into it right this second but basically we're starting to get my body kind of prepped for embryo transfer again oh come on um and a lot of that includes taking vitamins and getting healthy but there's a lot more to it just i'm gonna just explain when i get home baby Like Emma that. thought it was funny. <laughs> well, bring it to me. Well, I, I remembered the toilet paper. Thank you. I forgot the I first two, it. three times. Oh Is it so funny? So you want me to throw it at him again? <laughs> Look, Emma. Ready? <gasps> what is that little kick? Oh, oh, right. Is that funny? Hi, I missed. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so Emma didn't think the toilet paper was funny. She thinks both. You're gonna get stepped on. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's just toilet paper. You weirdo. So I feel bad. I, I'm so sore, and I think it's because I haven't worked out in like five or six days because right before I went to camp, I missed my day. And so that sucks, but I'm feeling all sore and I don't like it. But it got me thinking. When are you, or did you tell everybody what our plans are yet? No, so I was actually, well, yeah, I, I started it and then I got distracted. So I was telling them that we're starting to get ready for our next embryo transfer, but it's kind of, it's a lot more complicated than just like normally getting your body ready for pregnancy because you have to go through IVF and it's like so much. So we are thinking I'm gonna start working out with Justin. Well, not with me, I'm not. I mean, unless you want me to be your trainer. I can be your no, trainer no, if you no. want. At I got the same you, babe. place. The guy that's his trainer was the guy that was our trainer years ago when we started days. IVF before she was here. Yeah. Um, and we're thinking about it, but we have like to cross the T's, dot the I's, kind of yeah, figure yeah, out yeah. the budget on the training. Cause Justin's is free. Cause he's part of that military program that they offer there for veterans, which is amazing. Um, but we have, and he's doing a discount for us, which is amazing, but yeah. I got to kind of figure it all out, figure out the budget and then start That's gonna be vitamins. Cool. We haven't worked out together in like we four worked years, out maybe like three, three years. Three years. Yeah. yeah. Got to get this baby body. Cause it, I have put your body through like so, so much. much. So I want to be healthy before we go into transfer. Like I want to not just like, like I should probably stop drinking Dr. Pepper three days a week. Probably. probably but like also just like get the vitamins going yeah. feel good when i'm going into it of course yeah because i remember when my when i was going yeah. through my shots it was just brutal it was just <laughs> you're so lucky you don't have to do them i wish you had to do them sometimes i, I would, wish i would do it for you i know you I would, would. i know you would you're the best Love but you. i kind of wish you had to do them to experience it too but it ivf takes like so much 
out of your body, out of like, and then you guys remember the, the two pregnancies that I've been through. My first trimester is oh. brutal with the morning sickness. And oh so gosh. I feel like if I'm feeling good before going into it this time, instead of just jumping into it, then maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe it'll change. Maybe you'll feel better. I don't know. I'm, we'll I don't see. know. I'm not going to commit cool. to working out while pregnant. Like, because that's probably not a great idea some people do that know, um but, his uh, wife did it yeah when i was working out That's there crazy. and i was like you crazy, crazy. no i don't think so yeah. let's give her some carrots today sounds good are you gonna do that while i'm at school oh i don't want you to go you always forget that i have to leave <laughs> i don't want you to go i'm sorry don't leave but it's only one class today so i will be home later and then we got youth group are you excited because you didn't get to hang out with your girls this weekend <laughs> They, they miss you. Me. They all miss you so much. Guys, look at my cool bottle opener. I never use this thing anymore. Okay, I got little miss down for a nap. Justin is at school, and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of the advice on yesterday's vlog about um, getting Emma to take a bottle. Today I tried the Nook bottle, and she did not appreciate that. I think the Tommy Tippy one she liked more, so I'm gonna keep up trying that one. Um, part of the problem is that I think I was trying it at night, so I tried it during the day today, but I tried with the Nook. She didn't like that. She's just, she's very picky, and it's, it's frustrating because um, you try not to, like, get your emotions into it, and then you want to, like, just give in and, like, breastfeed her, but I want her to learn to take the bottle, and uh, so many of you guys were just being so sweet in all the comments, so I wanted to say thank you. A lot of you guys also messaged me on Instagram, and I messaged a few of you back there, so you guys are the best. Thank you so much. I think while she's taking this nap, I'm actually gonna take a nap. I started those antibiotics and I'm starting to feel so much better, but I'm exhausted because the night before I was up all night in pain because I literally couldn't sleep because the kidney pain was so terrible, especially in my lower back. So I'm gonna try and get a little nap in here while she takes a nap. I'm actually, I'm probably gonna go into her room and sleep on the floor of her nursery. That way when she wakes up, I hear it. So uh, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit after I get some much needed nap time from the last few days. <laughs> All right, so I just got home from school and I feel so bad. I told Rochelle right when I got home, this guy wanted to come right outside as soon as I walked in the door, come play Frisbee. And I was thinking about it, he hasn't been in the park in like, well, I took him on a walk, a couple walks like uh, three weeks ago, but since we had all that rain, it's just been impossible to take him out with all the mud and stuff so even to play back here really with him has been hard just because it's been so flooded out like you can still see a lot of it's muddy over here so just got to be careful but i feel bad so i'm gonna play with him for a little bit and get his energy out because he needs it so bad look at this guy look at this guy Buddy, you ready to go inside? I think mom is almost done making dinner for us. She's making spaghetti and I'm so hungry guys. I think I'm getting kind of hangry. I was getting really dizzy in class and like just not feeling good. I was like, I think I need a good meal because I haven't eaten a lot today. So I'm gonna go inside, eat, and then Rochelle and I got youth group today. Mwah. Justin's very picky about how Muy he- fantastico. <laughs> I know that was not Italian, but- <laughs> He's very particular about how he likes his meat sauce and his pasta now. The fronte is on point and the meat is perfect. Oh, well, good. Happy that you threw the parsley in there as well. I did nice that. Time. Literally, he's like, nice put time. the parsley in, don't forget to make the meat Parsley makes small. such a big difference the in, meat. That, in that flavor. <laughs> You're so cute. It's because he started cooking and now he like, like experimented and like, the cook, the cooking in the kitchen, and like in the very, cooking, in the, in very the experimented cooking. in the cooking, guys. He's very particular about what he enjoys now. But like we're gonna end it's the gonna vlog because we got youth. I think Justin already we said that. Goal. We got youth tonight. I gotta edit. Try to get busy. the house ready for Grandma to get here. So we, we will talk to you beans. guys either tomorrow or the next day. Love you guys. Bye bye. 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 Like a twig right under your feet Don't you say